Hello everybody, Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Germany. In the last episode, uh, we are continuing our war with NATO. We've been able to reduce the front in Denmark down to this small area, but there's a lot of enemy troops in there. So that is going to take a while to grind down. We're going to keep on working on that. The progress in Poland has been slow but steady. Working on that. We've been fending off invasion attempts by, I think, the Spanish in West Africa here. With our Marines just moving around everywhere where they're trying to land troops. We just move our Marines in there and drive them off. But so far, so good there. The results with the Navy has been a bit mixed, um, but we've been able to get most of our surface fleet repaired from what ships are surviving, and um, we're in pretty decent control of the Mediterranean at the moment, so that's good, and that will be needed for once we do um, deal with Poland. We're going to need some more Marines. We are going to need some more Marines, so... Um, as much as I like this Panzer Division to get done, we do... We're gonna go with 10 Marine Divisions. And it looks like they are fully fitted. So they just need to get trained. That's good. We did change our military service to mandatory service. It's going to impact our divisions a little bit, but we kind of need the manpower. Let's see how it goes. See, why are you guys not Come on, get in there. Another dangerous naval invasion. But we can deal with that. Yep, just drive our Marines through there and, uh... And get them dealt with. As soon as my marines show up, they uh, they quit. Oh yeah, that's right. We're not actually putting those military factories in place because a lot of those factories are damaged. We can see if we can get them repaired. We have a lot of infrastructure that needs to get built here. Um, we're going to go ahead and take the opinion swap. We have a big supply issue up on the northern flank. 
here in Poland, and I've tried to deal with that. Let's see if we can build a supply hub a little bit closer. And get a rail line out there. improve our global navigation system, so a yeah, couple months till we can do that. going to continue to improve our missile tech. A couple more Spanish frigates sunk. Being of the Navy... We've almost got the entire fleet. Repaired. It'll take about another month. A couple Corvettes sunk. Supply problems up here as well. Uh, can we build another supply base? Like right there? A nice supply hub? Let's see if that helps. Another dangerous naval invasion that isn't going to go anywhere. We lost some convoys. Not much we can do there. Let's see if we can take some pressure off of here. Get that airfield. You know, that airfield. Looking a little iffy. Down here. Let's 
Let's make sure that all of my supply depots are fully motorized, fully outfitted. Okay, and that is our intelligence agency fully upgraded. Finally. That means that those civilian factories can now get to work building stuff. Right. Yeah, that invasion's not going to go anywhere. My submarine fleet that looks like it's fully repaired and getting back in action. Excellent. Uh, one thing we're going to do is I'm going to merge these guys. I'm going to make a new fleet out of this. We're going to need a new commander. That's fine. And I want you to patrol that sea zone. As best you can. Oh, those are the ships that were heading to reinforce that task force. They got intercepted. And we lost the cruiser. Well, that's no good. That's one of our brand, well, our newish cruisers. Oh, current designs. Coastal rail installed. On March 28th. It's going to be a little while before that's done. we need is we need to put these guys under attack. And if we do that, I think we can collapse that whole... this whole pocket there. It's not going to work.
can knock Poland out of this thing. That would be great. Poland is at 75%. Oh, and uh, one thing is last episode is that the United Kingdom joined the East Asian Pact. The thing is, this is a different East Asian Pact than the East Asian Pact that China is a part of. But they're the same color, they have the same name, so that's somewhat annoying. Uh, if we look at this, their East Asian Pact holds the Bahamas, Syria, and one of the Japan elements here. So they're not going to be helping us. Lost another submarine. I can't are already bleeding money like crazy. I can't really afford that right now. Do we have control over that uh, sea region yet? No. Because the destroyer was badly damaged. Because those reinforcement ships got spotted and attacked. Alright. Okay, so we are now up to speed here. Alright, we can work on the uh, rods from God design. Now, speaking on our space technology, we have one day until our global navigation satellites are ready to go. We need to get, like, more than 30 of them in orbit. All right. I will put two per launch again to avoid uh, consequences of any failures. And we'll go ahead and launch all 20 of our vehicles. We had three failures. So that's six satellites that were lost. Let's get some more launch vehicles under construction. That should let me update my global navigation satellite system. Okay, now that should let me select my cruise missiles as an option. 
And as far as warheads... We're going to throw cluster munitions warheads in there. One cluster munitions. Tactical strike. Incendiaries. I guess that's going to be the better option. this to be the target. We have, what, 40 missiles in stock. We got actually got to set up a salvo first, right? How often firing a salvo is repeated on a weekly basis? We're going to fire a salvo of five miss missiles for four weeks. And go ten missiles. We're going to fire all 40 of them. Okay, here, launch point set, here, target point set, and begin firing. Strategic strike damage, tactical strike damage. Alright, we'll have to take a look at that as it goes. Everybody here is now fully supplied. Yeah, because those guys are under repair. Actually, it looks like we don't have any control. Not sure when the actual attack starts. Well, we'll come back here in a little bit and see if uh, if any report shows up.
Yeah, they're still undergoing repairs. This is my strike fleet. We sunk four Greek destroyers, including the pride of the Greek Navy, as well as one of their frigates. Collapsing housing prices. This is not what we need right now. Stable growth. Let's push it back to fast growth. Yeah, that's going to result in enormous amounts of debts. That's a ridiculous amount of debt. Alright, let's keep working on this stuff. Greek submarine. Alright, we have... A pretty decent supply of manpower so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually drop this back to partial draft only to get rid of the negatives Get back to installing on a back door in Poland. Cyprus has joined the other East Asian Pact. Man, they really want to invade in Guinea and Liberia. Uh, we have good operations here in... Polish airspace. a frigate and a corvette out there what are you guys doing out there how's the supply situation let's say we got that built go ahead and upgrade the bottleneck Alright, we're up to the point now where we're getting a lot of repairs in. My strike force is going out there and it's getting some work done, but taking damage. Uh, 
Let's keep working on all those missile designs. That's a more dangerous naval invasion than any of the ones we've seen yet. And they've abandoned it. They actually managed to land. Poland has capitulated. And I now now actually need to give you a front and a an orders. Okay. That almost certainly is a mess. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of foreign forces in there that um, now suddenly don't have the backup of the Polish army. So they're going to collapse relatively quickly. Hey, you guys. Take that, thank you. Cannot leave that naval base in our rear there. We shot down the, one of their... Oh, that was one of our aces getting shot down. Uh, how goes our marine training? Coming along. Both of June. Uh, why are you guys stopping? Go. Uh, because they're not on aggressive. Flip them aggressive and uh, get all this cleaned up. Thank you. Then we need to clean this up in Denmark, and then we need to start working about working on Spain. If we can knock Spain out of this, it's going to be a big help. Two Greek subs. Yeah, it seems like this ship gets repaired and then immediately gets damaged. Or it's, they're going out there without getting them fully repaired. How long is it going to take to fix that ship? They're not getting repaired. Um. Please get some repairs. Thank you.
I mean, you're doing good work, but, you know, get fixed up. All right, yeah, we gotta deal with Belarus, too. All right, well, hopefully we'll be able to push across Belarus relatively quickly. And I think we're at the end of the episode, so let's go ahead and just get an update on status of the war. Denmark, 94%. We just, we just need to take that port. Um... We've knocked Poland out. Belarus is next. Canada is 2% towards capitulation. What? Spain has occupied some islands in northern Canada. All right, then. But we've inflicted 1.63 million casualties, and, well, in total, this war has inflicted 1.6 million casualties on the NATO side. Our side has suffered 352,000 casualties, with us accounting for 173,000 of them. We have an 86% war participation, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna control this peace conference, which is good. Alright, but we are just bleeding cash. Um hopefully this won't take too much longer. We'll see. Alright, but for now, we will stop here. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.